Okay, we're going to install our intake manifold. And I've got new gaskets. Actually, say arrow towards front of engine. We're going to go here. Um, if I had enough guide studs, I could go through and put guide studs in here. Okay, I screwed up. And put it back on. Guide studs couldn't go where I had them. From there, and then we can take and put our other gasket. Somewhere around 35, I'll have to look it up. We'll get them run in, and come back and torque them. Oops. <laughs> um, on this one, you want to work your way towards the back. So we start here. Tighten that one. Down here. Work our way towards the back. It's a really simple intake manifold. So like I say, I'll come back and torque those. That's done. Okay. There's a there's our inlet air temperature sensor. See how it's got pipe dope on there? That's enough to seal it. Put that in there. There's actually a torque for it. Um, you just want to be careful and get them snug because it is a tapered pipe fit. You can get the box on there better. Get it snug. I usually don't take those out of the manifolds. Um, somebody did for whatever reason. Then we also have our uh, mass airflow. On automotive, you'd call it a mass airflow. On this, you would call it a boost pressure sensor. And this is it right here. Uh, there's our boost tube that goes into the hole right there. Oh, and we're missing an O-ring. i got to find an O-ring for it. Okay. I found an O-ring for that, it's right here. A lot of times what you can do is put some Silaglide on it, lube it up. This one sticks in there nice and easy, so I'm not going to worry about that one. And this is going to pop in here like so. And this, like I said, this is what reads your turbo boost pressures. Like I said, automotive, you notice it says GM on it. <laughs> Most electronics on these Detroits were designed by General Motors. General Motors and Detroit were the same, owned by the same company there for a while, uh, for a lot of years. There's not a, not so much crossover now, but back when these were built, there sure was. That's why most of your electronics on the Detroits are 
you work on Chevrolet, you've you've worked around Detroit stuff. Okay, so that's installed. I'll go find the torque and torque that. Not going to be real much, like 11 inch pounds or something.